Hi, I'm Andy from Soundcraft, and welcome to another video about the VI series software features. In this video, we're going to look at autocomplete patching, also known as sequential patching. So normally on the VI, the patching is done by going into the input section of each channel and opening up the patching matrix for that particular channel, like this. But what if you need to change the patching on the entire console? Well, autocomplete patching allows us to do a sequential patch across a range of channels or buses just by selecting the first patch point in that range. Now, it's really easy to do this, and what we use is the GAN function to make this work. Now, the GAN function is normally used to temporarily link a bunch of channels or buses so that a change made on one channel will affect all the channels in that GAN. Well, with patching, it works in a similar way, except that instead of patching the same point that you select on the first channel to all of them, it automatically does a sequential patch. So let's see how that works. So first of all, I'm going to open the input patch screen on the first uh, channel strip that I want to patch. In this case, I'm going to start with channel 1. Now, all the channels on this console are already patched to uh, Dante inputs at the moment. So let's say I want to change that to patch the first 16 channels on the console to a stage box which is also attached to the console. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch on the GAN mode, and then I'm going to select the channels I want to sequentially patch. So I'm going to take the first 16 channels here and select them into the GAN by pressing the solo select button of the first and last channels. And you can see they've all lit up in blue to indicate that the GAN is active. And then we just go into our channel one patch screen, select the stage box tab, and we'll select the first stage box mic input there, A1. Now, what happens now is we get a dialog box comes up, which is a warning that, to us that we're about to do a sequential patch, which will obviously affect other channels on the desk. Do we want to go ahead with that? Yes, we do. So press the Yes button. And instantly, all of these first 16 channels have now been sequentially patched to the stage box. We can see that by looking down at the channel labels here, and you can actually see the patching information in the top left corner. Um, and you can see those say R05, mic A1, which is the first channel, all the way along to the 16th channel on the stage box. Now, a couple of points about how flexible this system is. First of all, you could choose any stage box patch point to start with. It didn't have to be mic input 1. I could have started with mic input 8. And the sequential patch will go from that point onwards until it either runs out of stage box patches or it hits the end of the gang range, which is here in this case, that you've selected. Secondly, it's really easy to, easy to skip over certain channels if you don't want to repatch all the channels. You just drop them out of the gang range. So let's say on these two channels here that I have a DJ patched into those channels and I don't want to unpatch that whilst I'm doing the sequential patch on all the other channels. So just drop those channels out of the gang by pressing the solo select. And then if we go back and do another sequential patch, so this time let's change these channels back to a local Dante input. So I'm going to select that on Dante input um, 1 down here. Do I want to sequentially patch all of the mic uh, inputs to Dante now? Yes. Um, and now all of those channels 1 to 16 have been patched to the Dante channels except for these two here, which are the DJ channels, which are still patched to the stage box. So what we can see, if you were to look along these labels here, is all the patching is Dante up to this point. Then we've got the two stage box channels here. We missed out. And then on the other side, we start at Dante again. Now, as I said at the start, what if you want to repatch the whole desk? Well, you could go through all the fader pages, um, selecting the first and last channel uh, in each input on each layer, but there is a nice shortcut on the GAN system which allows you to really quickly select all the channels on the desk with a single press. And how we do that is we start with the GAN off, switch it on, and then press and hold it. And you see all of the channels uh, are now selected into the GAN. And I can switch through layers and you can see all of the channels there. And if there are some channels that you don't want to be affected by the sequential patch, it's often quicker to gang everything like that using the shortcut and then just go in and deselect the things you don't want. Now, bear in mind when you're using gang either for patching or for any other purpose, that when you switch to gang mode off, 
it remembers its last setting. So when you switch it back on again, those channels are still selected. Now, usually that's a good thing because when you're setting up the console, it means you don't have to keep reselecting stuff into GAN every time you switch the console on and off or switch the GAN on and off. But during a show, you don't want to accidentally switch the GAN on. Um, so it's a good tip to clear all the GAN members once you've finished setting up. So to do that with the GAN mode on, you just press and hold any of the GAN members for a couple of seconds and you see all the channels are now deselected. There are now no channels in any GAN. Now that deselection includes channels on other layers that you can't necessarily see. So it can be a good idea to clear the GAN every time you switch it on if you haven't used it for a while, just to make sure you're only selecting channels you think you are and there aren't any leftover selections on another layer. Well, talking of clearing things, you can also use the autocomplete patching to clear existing patches across multiple channels or buses, as well as to make new ones. This can be a good idea if you want to start with a clean slate before you start patching. It's particularly useful for clearing output patches where there might be more than one patch point on a bus output. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Select the all buses mode, which um, we can see all the output buses and get to their patching easily. Um, I'm going to switch on gang mode and I'm going to select the first 16 buses here by pressing bus 1 and bus 16. And then I'm going to open up the patch, the output patch screen on, on bus 1, which is here. And I'm going to press the None button. Are you sure you want to clear all patching from the ganged strips? Answer yes. And now instantly all of the output patches, including multiple patches, have been cleared from all of those selected buses. And then just to finish off, I'll make a new sequential patch on those output buses. So with their gang still selected and still switched on, I'm going to go into bus 1, select the stage box outputs this time, and pick the first output here. Do want to select the, sequentially patch the selected channels? Yes. And now I've got um, a range of outputs patched sequentially. Clear the gang, switch gang mode off, job done. So as you can see, the autocomplete patching on the VI series is really simple to use. It's also intelligent in that it jumps over channels you don't want it to include. And it also handles mono and stereo channels and bus patching and effects patching, exactly as you would want it to. All in all, it saves you a massive amount of setup time. So thanks for watching. For more information, download the version 6.4 software features user guide from the soundcraft.com website.